Good morning. Well, if you saw our previous video, you would know that we are ready to start side dressing. And we're going to get started with that today. I am on my way to get our first full tanker of side dress mix. I'm going to go ahead and run into the co-op get a true weight empty and full that way I know my exact gallons and we can do a first acre calibration on the monitor make sure we are where we think we should be all right I'll be right back I'm gonna go grab my scale I'll swing back by once I'm loaded and that'll tell me how much fertilizer I got on all right let's go ahead and get this tanker hooked up get the fertilizer flowing and then I'll show you guys what we got going on here All right, well, I can't remember if we've been here in any of our videos yet. So if we haven't, welcome to Jipville. Grain side and fertilizer side. So we've got three 30 gallon fertilizer tanks here inside this dike. So there's where our fertilizer is that we have on hand at the moment. And then we've got three inch plumbing through all of it. Right now, we've already pumped about 700 gallons, going about 200, 220 gallon a minute. Looking to get 5,000 gallons in here, because that'll give Dad about two full pulls, and then there won't be anything left over. Works out really nice. So, not much to it. This is actually the first year we've been We've had on-farm storage for our liquid fertilizer. Talked about it for many years, but finally pulled the trigger last summer and got these, got these set up. So really excited to use them this year for um, better pricing when we bought it, as well as the efficiency of just being able to come over here five minutes away from probably most fields, fill up, and get right back. Previously, we would have to go clear over to Crawfordsville. Uh, for those of you that aren't local, that's about a 45 minute one way trip. So it was an hour and a half ish plus load time just to get another load of fertilizer. And usually wasn't quick enough for dad uh, to get back before dad needed us. And we, had, we did have a couple ground tanks that we would use. And, just wasn't very efficient, so excited to be able to pull out of this all spring. And yeah, I know it's flashing somewhere up to 400. We're not getting 400 gallon a minute. But the other reason I want to weigh this, not only to test the monitor on the applicator, I also want to test that flow meter, make sure what it's telling us is somewhat accurate. It doesn't need to be perfect, I just want a general idea of what I'm putting on the tanker so that I don't end up overflowing. Make sure I open the lid up, don't drop the camera in. Have a visual check. Because until I check that meter, personally, I don't trust it. I think it's showing, if I can read that far away, I think we're like 3,400 gallons. Um, so we should have plenty of space, but not going to take a chance. Didn't stop it quite on 5,000. It says 5,007.4. Close enough for my math. So 
we're going to utilize the truck airline to blow out that line get disconnected shut our valves off and we'll go away again and see how accurate this meter is all right so if i do my math correctly divided by 10.67 comes out to 5,005 per the scale. So I would say that meter's pretty darn close. Close enough for me to trust it. What are you still doing here? I thought you'd be out running by now. I tried. I didn't do all my homework. Uh-oh. What'd we forget? What'd we miss? Um, all my... Swap control measurements did not come back up. Oh. And then I forgot we stole our. Stole? Stole. <laughs> we stole our. Uh, lift switch. Lift switch off of this and put on the 26. 26 so so the monitor doesn't really know if it's up or down. It would not let me apply any nitrogen. This is why you don't expect to get a whole lot done on the first day here it's actually folded up so it's nice easy to get to so when we took this off the applicator last fall to put it on this we noted that we needed to get a second lift switch to put on the applicator since we failed to do that we now get to take it back off the 2660 and it looks like there were a whole lot of zip ties put on and it's still covered in dirt too it's what you get for not writing things down sometimes and having memory like we do get all this extra wrapped up so we don't run it over So which way was that? I can't remember which way this. So on the 2660, when it was up, the nose of that was. All right, so the way this lift switch works is just kind of mercury. When it goes like this, mercury runs that way and closes the contact. And then when we lift it, it runs away, opens the contact. Very rudimentary tells the monitor what's up and what's down though. So now we have to set it where we want so that when this is to the position we want, it'll tell the machine it's down. All right, now tell me, tell me when it switches. See what that does. I can tighten it without moving it. All right, I think we got all our little bugs worked out. The up and downs calibrated, measurements are all put in the monitor. Got the tanker down to the field. And dad has started. And he hasn't quit yet. And that's all that's left over after he runs through it. Just little slices in the ground. Some of them, some of them kick a little more than others, but not bad. So on this pass, we are running 52 gallons to the acre, 48 gallons of 28% and then another four gallons per acre of ammonium thiosulfate. So it gives us a little more, little more sulfur in the ground. 
same fertilizer we ran with starter uh, just a little different rate of the two and obviously at a much higher gallons per acre That is a 60 foot bar and we were still running 40 foot corn planter. So he's got to run his two passes around the outside, the border, on a 40 foot width, which is what he achieves when he's folded up. And then as he works out the inside, he can open up to 60 foot and it makes the whole process a lot more efficient. And less passes through the field when the corn's this tall means less corn killed. Doesn't take long to burn through a tank 60 foot wide, 52 gallon to the acre. Are you tired of running over corn yet? Already? All better. And he's good for another 50 acres. Well, move to the tanker for dad. He's doing this field next. But my truck's way down there. Good time to get my exercise in. Should I do a quick power walk? Nah. I will be glad when those small bins are empty. I do not enjoy sweeping bins out, let alone 80 plus degrees. Makes it probably close to 95 in those bins. But finished that up, got dust and loaded for morning. Just checked the op center to see where dad was and how he was getting along and it shows he's back at the shop so hopefully he just had to poop that's what i'm gonna go with let's hope there's not more problems well i thought i had a flow meter just a single issue but it turns out i've got several that are cracked and once they break loose, they blow nitrogen everywhere. We'll have to, I've got some others that we pulled off a planter a few years ago. I'll go ahead and replace the bad ones and probably need to think about just ordering a new set.
I'm a little surprised these things have kind of broke like that. It's only the oh, fourth year on this applicator and we, we keep it inside uh, so they're not out in the weather much. But it's plastic. Obviously over time it's going to deteriorate and get brittle. So we'll get the ones fixed that are bad and just keep a really close eye on the others. We had planned on putting Precision's V applies on this for this spring fall, or summer, but uh, parts didn't get in in time. So we'll have to forego that and uh, just limp, limp these through this year and maybe we can get the precision system put on it next year. There's 12, 14, 15, 16. Perfect. I was just fortunate that uh, I had some that we'd taken off another imp the planter a few years back that were still sitting in the storage shed where I probably would not be able to fix this right now. Yeah, I can do that after I get it. bolted back on. Sounds like a semi's coming in. So I'm going to get a hard time from Jared. Uh, what are you doing? I know you guys can hear him. Can I not leave you alone for one minute? That's the second time today you're not where you're supposed to be. I just said I can hear him now. Ah! What, are, what, are, what are you doing? Can I not <laughs> leave you alone for any time at all? Man, I leave and next thing I know he's back at the shop. Well, at least I'm fixing it and I didn't just leave it for you to come yeah, back. Yeah, that's true. So what happened? Ah. Uh, They're cracking. You know, hey, if we had our things, we wouldn't have had these at all. I already said we had planned on putting the precision stuff on. Yeah. That didn't get the parts. Nope, that plan failed. Didn't get what we wanted when we wanted, or when we needed it, really. Look at this. I also knew I'd get yelled at if I didn't video. <laughs> <laughs> I would never. Well, didn't take long for the applicator to get its first nitrogen bath. <laughs> at all. That's a guarantee every year, isn't it? Every year. Every year. So how, how many are you replacing? Well, I've replaced... I was going to say, I see five down there. They were cracked, so there was one that was bad, but there was no reason to leave the others. Oh, gotcha. They were cracked all the way through. There's some that are just starting to show a little bit. See, like this one? So it's going to be... Just, just going to have to keep an eye on it. Yep. Send off number three. Well, it looks like I'm going to be hanging around all night while he's running. Just can't seem to leave him, leave him be on his own without tearing something else up.
All right. And there he goes with the last full load tonight. He's gonna run enough of that that he can fill and empty the tanker. That way I can start fresh in the morning back at Jipville. Had a lot of problems today, but at least we're finishing the day still running, which means we've solved the first day's problems. And what comes tomorrow, we'll deal with then. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Find that thumbs up button. Give us a like. Subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you in the next one.